like, we like to observe the natural world now in our, in our you know, in our, in our pristine uh, intelligence of the modern world. We love embracing, you know, the, 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 the concepts of science. We believe in evolution now. Evolution is one of the key elements to us understanding how creatures last on this planet. Well, then why are we talking about helping obese people? <laughs> Isn't that a statement of evolution, right? Isn't that nature just trying to cull the fucking human herd a little bit? Because using the model of evolution, isn't obesity a massive statement of nature, right? And the statement is, you know, you're, I'm, I'm, I'm going to make every creature want to eat you and no creature want to fuck you. <laughs> you know, you effectively can be struck from the list. You're, fucking, you're, you're a massive option of food and not a good option to breed with. That's like a Darwinian statement, right? So why are we trying to assist? Like, we've got this, it's, it's just the arrogance of the West. It's just the West going, we've got problems too. We've got issues that we're dealing with. Look at our kids. Look how fat the kids are. There's, there's starving kids in the, in the third world. Yeah, but look at our ones. They're so fat. <laughs> Why are they so fat? So obesity is a tragedy. No, it's not. It's a luxury. Obesity is a luxury. Do you understand? These are people that have gone, I just eaten all the food. I need to sustain myself for 24 hours. I think I might do that again. <laughs> I feel pretty good. <laughs> get to the end of that. Yeah, I'm going to do that again. <laughs> the next day, I'm going to do it again. Absolutely. Yeah. So how are we going to solve this problem, right? right? I'm, I'm thinking maybe we could send the flabby kids from the first world to the third world. Exactly. <laughs> You're with me on this, aren't you, dude? The logic's starting to click into place, right? You were mean, man. We're like this. We're like this, right? We sent the flabby kids from the first world right to the third world where they can be hunted by the starving kids. <laughs> <laughs> Just, just, just listen to where I'm going with this, okay? Just, just don't, don't jump on me too soon. I can see you're not going with the idea, but it's good. No, it's just people that, like one group needs needs exercise, right? and the other group needs food. I see a new reality TV show. <laughs> Survivor, come dine with me, cross. You know, um, Let's take the Hunger Games to its natural conclusion. <laughs> and you can text vote for them as well. You can vote for the ones that you like. Oh, come on, Winston. I voted for you last week. Move your lardy ass. Come on, Winston. Come on. You've got the Nike sneakers, Winston. Come on. So look at on, on Google made you the Nike sneakers. Come on, Winston. Come on. Oh, look at on Google with that belly. He's really bloated. Look at that. He can really throw that spear. He's hungry. <laughs> really wants the props. Oh, oh, Winston. <laughs> oh, you were the weakest link. <laughs> now the tribe has spoken. <laughs> now, now they're going to eat. <laughs> Google is my new favorite. Mm -hmm. He gets my text. <laughs> okay. no, I, I don't have any time for, for, for these first world problems. I, I'm, I'm sick of this shit, man. I'm sick, I'm sick of living in a world where. We've, we've just cloaked atrocity now. We've just cloaked it with, 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 with entertainment. We've just morphed the, the, the most appalling elements of humanity with that which is entertaining. And we can't see the line anymore. You, I mean, you don't believe me? Look what we have for entertainment. Recently, a friend of mine was recommending, she, she was like, you must see Dexter. Dexter's is amazing. <laughs> <laughs> it's, hilarious. it's really good. No, it's really good. It's just genuine drama. It's genuine drama. Mm -hmm. And it's up to theory seven now. It's really good. And I was like, well, what's it about? It's about a serial killer. <laughs> <laughs> what, what, you mean, what, you mean people, what, a CSI type thing? What, people that catch serial killers? No, no, no. It's, no, no, it's about, about a serial killer. <laughs> what, you mean the lead guy? What, the central protagonist? What, you, what you're telling me the hero is a serial killer? Yeah. <laughs> but, that, but, but that's appalling. No, 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 oh, but it's really good looking. <laughs> and he only kills the bad people. <laughs> and he only kills the people that deserve it. <laughs> what? <laughs> like, seriously, like, what? But where is our moral ethical code if that's our entertainment? It's, and if that's what's making a successful show, man, I've got to get me paid, right? I think it's time to write a show about a paedophile. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's okay. It only fucks the bad kids. You know? <laughs> 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 so 
sodomize the kids that deserve it. You know? <laughs> he gets his victims from the naughty step. Um, and it's really good looking. <laughs> kids are pretty hot too. <laughs> from living out atrocity is our fantasy. This, I mean, you've seen the games that we play now. Remember when it used to be Pac-Man, right? Remember yeah. Pac-Man? Pac-Man, yeah. that, that was a great time, right? Yeah. That, th those games used to chill us out. Yeah, there's a Pac-Man fan. Right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, yes, I do, bro. Absolutely, I remember Pac-Man. <laughs> next question, pal. Next question. <laughs> do I remember Snake? Yes, I do remember Snake. <laughs> Clock that motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> so that was, right? I mean, that was, but now, now, it's of Pac-Man, right? But Pac-Man, it, like, it was like, you know, can you make the head run over the ghosts? Eat the pills and run over the ghost. And now, things like Grand Theft Auto 4, right? We're like, oh, I just ran over the hooker. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I can get my money back. Awesome. Wow. wow. This is an awesome game. Wow. Look, look, these are the modern games. This is the reason your average 14 year old can name nine automatic weapons and not one yoga posture. <laughs> playing, playing these games to, to chill out, to chill out. They're playing these games. And people go, I just spent 40 minutes on a bus to get home from my 7 to 7 Mick job, which I fucking hate. I just want to sit on the sofa, defrost a pizza, have a vodka chaser, and shoot some people in the fucking head. Because <laughs> I'm stressed. I've got problems in my life that I can only solve with a rocket launcher. <laughs> it's like the war games are even more extreme, aren't they? Like once you start playing those war games, like Medal of Honor and Call of Duty. I mean, the first, the first five of all of those games, right, right, of Medal of Honor and Call of Duty, they're all set in World War II. Does that not feel weird to you guys to sit there on the couch and go, oh, wow, Granddad, this is the freedom of you. <laughs> <laughs> this is brilliant respect, Granddad. Wow. Who would have thought you and your mates gave their lives so that me and my mates can waste our lives <laughs> playing an electronic simulation of how you gave your life? <laughs> Though to be fair, Granddad, a bit of the graphics weren't this good when you were there. <laughs> Must have sucked you to do the whole thing in black and white. <laughs> how many medals have you got, Granddad? Two. <laughs> I've unlocked all the medals in this game. You're a fucking noob, Granddad. You're a noob. You're an absolute noob. Did you teabag the Nazis? No, you're going to teabag the Nazis. <laughs> This generation when just about World War Two. It was like World War Two was hard. World War Two was difficult. I'm thinking I've played it on hard and difficult. <laughs> <laughs> you played it on nightmare, Granddad. No, you haven't played it on nightmare. <laughs> you, you only fought Nazis. Did you fight zombies? No, nah, zombies are harder, eh? <laughs> oh shoot, the zombies in the head. <laughs> yeah, options with Hitler. <laughs> it's like now with the modern war games, they're even crazier. Just absolutely crazy. These modern war games, like you could, you could fly, you could fly things like like these weapons of death that nations like Britain and America are deploying to the Middle East, places like Iraq. They just freaking just slaughter people. You would play them for fun, for fun. You would fly the Apache attack helicopter. You're like, <laughs> oh, this is so much fun. <laughs> Look down there, those trees or people? Mm, hard to tell. <laughs> so high in the air, <laughs> can't really tell. There's one way to tell, activate the 30 millimeter chain gun. <laughs> <laughs> oh, they're people. Okay, they're <laughs> the trees don't have that much liquid in them. <laughs> They'll drag their friends to safety. <laughs> you can fly like a Tomahawk cruise missile, like an, an absolute weapon, a billion dollar weapon of death. It's a long way to Libya. <laughs> <laughs> and pause, just like a real war. <laughs> and Coke. Oh, Coke Zero. Wouldn't want to get obese. <laughs> oh, and Burger King. Oh, double whopper, extra cheese. Oh, and a Cadbury cream egg. Oh, yeah. oh an Easter egg. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I love you, Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I just killed the Syrian pedophile. <laughs> That's modern warfare, right? Kill from the couch. That's what they're pretty much doing with drones now. 
can kill it from the counts. If anything, they're getting bored by killing with drones, aren't they? They're like, oh, I can't wait to get back to Call of Duty. <laughs> can't wait to get back to playing an arcade game where the enemy can actually fight back. Oh, this is just so boring. <laughs> <laughs> Even the World of Warcraft's more entertaining than this. <laughs> I mean, it's, it's just insane. That's the, that's the point that we've got to now. I mean, that's why we have to call these games things like Medal of Honor and Call of Duty. <laughs> Just listen to, listen to the sanctimonious self righteous Medal of Honor, Call of Duty. And because that's why we call them this, because you couldn't, you couldn't call them the truth, could you? What are you playing? International war crime? I'm <laughs> 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 yeah. playing Israel, it's by far the hardest side. It's really hard. Yeah, I've never got past Gaza. It's really <laughs> keep killing too many kids. I don't know how to stop killing the kids. It's weird because they don't even seem to have weapons on them. So it's like, I don't even know if you can actually win this game. It's <laughs> I mean, the, listen, to the, listen to the names. The names have that same arrogance to them, don't they? The, of those weapons. The, 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 the Apache attack helicopter. Right? The Tomahawk cruise missile. Right? Shame on you, America. You can't name your weapons taken with names from the indigenous cultures that you've wiped out. The Apache, the Tomahawk, are you shitting me? That's like Australia building a tank and calling it the Abba. <laughs> <laughs> what is it for? Boomerang. <laughs> yeah, we don't really trust the boomerang. <laughs> it's got some problems with its guidance system. <laughs> 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 the problem is with a boomerang, if it can't find its target, it tends to come back. <laughs> yeah, mate, we had to replace it with a well-made German missile. Really, mate, what's that called? The Jew. <laughs> <laughs> that's not acceptable, but the abos were fucking funny, weren't they? Those little brown people with nothing. <laughs> the little brown people. Oh, the Jews. <laughs> Those are the humans that we care about more than the other humans. Because we've been told they're more important than other human beings. And the Catholic Church doesn't produce pedophiles. <laughs> they are to be respected and drink your milk because the milk tastes good. <laughs> Even though it's totally illogical for the body type. Dooby dooby doo. So how are we going to navigate this, this sort of discourse before I go? You know, like, like it, it is an illustration of the brainwashing, right? Right. Like we were told that we were going to have hope. America sold us hope. The whole they sold us hope with Obama, right? They spread that right across the world. This man is hope. But it, I, I just look at Obama in the second term and I think, wait a minute, the last black man to have that much military power and an imperial agenda was called Darth Vader. <laughs> 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 no, it is racist because Darth Vader isn't black. <laughs> <laughs> well, neither is Obama. So <laughs> he's cappuccino at best. <laughs> <laughs> he's mocha soy latte. That's the darkest I'm willing to get. Not a bean more. Not a bean more. I mean, think about it. If you bought a marker pen labeled black from an art supply store, wrote your name with it, right? You know, right? And it came out the color of Obama. You would take that pen back, wouldn't you? You'd be like, this is a rip-off. This is, this is not doing it. This is supposed to be black. That's not, what is that? What is that? And the fact is that Obama, he's mixed race. Obama's mixed race, right? But in, but in the American mindset and in the mindset of the world, like the BBC, the CNN, Fox News, they all, the black president, it's totally what they use consistently. Do you know why? Because the world isn't ready for mixed race. It's just, it's not ready for it. You think, you think America can... Think, why do you think your iPads are only black and white? <laughs> <laughs> they don't do great. They can't do great. They can't deal with 50 shades of gray. Let alone, 
like six and a half billion shades of gray. It's too much for them. They're like, what do you mean a black man put his cock into a white? Burr, 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 burr. You're the down south. They just flip out. What you mean a black man put it? What you mean? Embolism. I'm bleeding from my brain. I'm bleeding from my brain. These are the fundamentalists that sleep with a Bible on one side of the pillow and an M16 assault rifle on the other, right? They're fucking psychos, right? And he is. He's genuinely mixed race. Like, take your, take, you know, Google it when you get home. Google Obama's parents. You'll laugh your ass off. I mean, his dad is multi generational Kenyan. If you want to use that really generalistic term to describe a human being that is black, which I don't think is particularly helpful, but if you want to use it, fine, right? Apply it to his dad, but his mum. <laughs> You're going to have to use the word white because she's as white as pure, freshly cut fucking cocaine. That's how white she is. You know, she is chalk freaking white. She looks like she just came out of a house shed with seven dwarves. That's how white she is. Right? And she's from Kansas. She's chalk white and from Kansas. If she wasn't holding hands with his dad in the photograph, she'd be holding hands with a tin man and a freaking scarecrow. Right? <laughs> Little dog called Toto. That's how white she is, right? Wizard of Oz. Not that big in this country. Okay, I understand, right? Maybe a race thing.